Yo, Sabre Sif, and I'm back with my third review of the Summer 2012 Lego Star Wars line. And today we're going to take a look at set number 9678, and it's the Twin Pod Cloud Car and Bespin. Um, and I know I said a few months ago that I won't be reviewing this shit on my channel because um, I just think it's some like cheap garbage um, I changed my mind in regards to this particular set um, only because of the minifigure Lobot who um, previously we didn't even get in Cloud City um, the only way to get him was uh, if you had this set um, which obviously I did get back in the day because I only started collecting Lego Star Wars like two years two years ago now. Um, but I got this one from eBay. Um, this is the original Twin Pod Cloud Car, the original Lobot minifigure, yellow head, um, some nice like it's got like silver, grey silver eyebrows. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, just a nice minifigure to have, I guess, if you're a Rebel fan like myself. Um, and the new cloud car, well, um, not really worth like talking about really, I mean it's just like a little mini, a little mini thing, um, and it's okay, it's you know, not special, uh, but what is nice is you get like this little plaque, the uh, twin pod cloud car and Lobot Bespin, like Lego Star Wars plaque, I think. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if you get that with all of the um, the planet sets, um, but if you do, fair play. Um, but you know, I'd only get them if they got an exclusive minifigure. So let's just check this this minifigure out because um, he's real he's real nice, and um, I'm looking forward to doing my army my rebel army review soon. I'll pop him in there. Um, let's see, where, where's the, yeah, he's just got like a few like wrinkles on his face, kind of like Mandalorian style, things with the iPad that don't zoom in and stuff, um, I don't know, maybe it does, I don't know how to do that, but yeah, he's got like the control panel thing on the back of his head that helps him to interface with the uh, Cloud City computer system. Um, it's a possibility that they're gonna remake Cloud City. Um, the reason why I think that they might do that is because they've bought out uh, a new Lobot which you know I know Lego they're, they're pretty cheap they'll throw him in there and they've bought out a new Boba Fett um, with like the leg printing and obviously they thought you know we're going to be cheap and we're not going to do the arm printing like we did with the old Cloud City Boba Fett um, that's really valuable um, and I've got a hunch that they might just bring out Cloud City um, possibly like Christmas time January time when they you know do the what will be like the 2013 um, winter range or whatever um, so yeah if that happens guys it'll be real nice remember you heard it here first Mystic Sith, Mystic Saber Sith, with my future predictions. Um, so yeah, that's the two minifigures side by side, old and new, and obviously the new one. Um, the details on the torso uh, are a lot better. Um, you can't really see the belt detailing there on the old one, but it's it's pretty. I mean intricate is, is pretty well done um, and obviously on the new the new version they've just gone and redone it and made it look a lot better we're struggling to see there with the light um, and it's got back printing as well so. but yeah um, nothing too special about this set it's just one of them kind of display pieces I guess um, and if you're a Rebel fan and you're an old school Star Wars fan, then yeah, go out and get it. Why not? You know, um, I did. So 
yeah thanks for watching guys obviously uh, comment thumbs up subscribe I'll sub you back uh, and yeah just keep doing your thing keep it real alright peace